Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my kitchen for another episode in my Back to Basics series for Video Jack. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you my perfect winter warmer. It's my spiced squash soup. So for the squash soup, start off by prepping the squash itself. Just take the top off and the bottom. And then there's two main parts of the squash. You've got the main kind of neck here and then the base. So we want to just chop those two in half. And then using a sharp knife, just peel off the skin and work your way around. And then just chop it into thick wedges. Just pop those on a roasting tray as you go. Now for the base, same again. Just cut around with a sharp knife to get all that skin off. And then cut this in half. Take a spoon and scoop the seeds out and just scoop them straight into a bowl. Don't throw these seeds away because I'm going to use these as a little garnish later on. And then take this base and chop it into rough chunks about the same thickness as your other pieces as well just so everything cooks really evenly. And just do the same again with the other squash. And take some olive oil, just give everything a generous drizzle. And just before these go in the oven, it's another great little tip of how to deal with garlic. Just got a piece of foil, pop your garlic in the middle and then give it a drizzle of olive oil and just scrunch it up tightly. And nestle that just in the corner there. That's going to take about the same length of time to roast and what you're going to end up with is this lovely, rich, sticky, caramelised roasted garlic. So that all needs to go into a hot oven around 170 degrees for about half an hour or just until the squash and the garlic are really soft. So now it's time to toast the spices. Cinnamon in, and then our cloves, cardamom seeds, and cumin seeds. Now always keep an eye on spices because they can burn very, very easily. This is my favorite kind of spice mix to go with the roasted squash, but for a full list of ingredients, just check out the description box. So that's ready, it smells really nutty, a little bit smoky, beautiful. Okay, once you've toasted your spices, it's time to grind them. So once you've had a good workout and all these spices are ground, this is what you end up with. It's really lovely, fragrant spice powder. But because it's such great stuff, and we've got these seeds left over, I'm gonna sprinkle a bit over the seeds, a pinch of sea salt, and take a baking tray. Spread those out evenly, and just pop them into the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes, and they'll puff up and go really lovely and crisp. So while they're roasting away, we can start with the base of our soup. So, time to fry off some onions and chilli. So take a heavy base pan and heat it over a medium to high heat. And don't forget, the pan is going to have to accommodate all of that squash as well, so make sure it's big enough. Some butter into the pan. So when the butter's foaming, add the onions. And the whole chilli. You might think it's a bit odd adding a whole chilli, but this way you can kind of gauge the level of heat later on. Once the chilli's cooked, we can take it out, chop it, and then keep adding back to gain your right level of heat. So just fry those together for about five minutes until the onion turns really lovely and soft. Add the spice mix in, and fry for about another minute or so, just until really, really fragrant. Looks like the squash is ready. So add the squash to the pan, and now add the stock. When you're making soup, really good quality stock is really important. And add just enough to just cover the squash. So turn the heat up high. You want to just bring this to the boil and then turn it down and simmer it for about 10 minutes. Right, so that's had about 10 minutes simmering away. Everything is beautiful and soft and it smells incredible. Now, remember we put this whole red chilli in earlier. I'm just going to take that out carefully. So take a liquidizer and just carefully ladle everything in. So because this soup is quite hot, it's important not to overfill and put a tea towel over the top and just in case anything does splatter up, that's going to stop that from hitting you. And just give that a blitz for a good minute or two until everything's really smooth. For this last stage of the soup, add some of the chilli. Now what I'd do is just chop it up and add the chilli a bit at a time as you blend. Keep having a little taste and just see where you want your heat level and then our garlic we roasted earlier. Cut the very top bit off and give it a squeeze 
and all that beautiful roasted garlic flesh will just fall out. Scoop that up and add it to the soup. And finally, just for a bit of extra richness, some double cream. And blend it again. And there we go. It smells beautiful. All those spices, that kind of nuttiness works really well with that squash. Take a ladle. And then for a final flourish, got some beautiful soft goat's cheese. And this works so well with the butternut squash. It's salty, it's tangy, and just kind of melts into the soup as you eat it. And just for a little bit of texture, these lovely squash seeds that we roasted off earlier, just a sprinkle over the top. And then finally, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. If you've enjoyed this recipe, click the subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, or come find us on Facebook. Now all that's left to do is have a little taste. Mm. It's really smooth, creamy, there's a good kick of spice and that lovely crunch of those seeds at the end. There you have it, my spice squash soup. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I look forward to seeing you back in the kitchen again soon for another in my Back to Basics series. <laughs>